what it would bring you up on the high race. To work so hard, it would be so much. My motivation was very different than Kakarot's. My motivation was to be the best, to be the greatest Saiyan alive as I always had been. The intensity of my training was maddening. At 450 times normal gravity, a basic training game became a desperate struggle for survival. You can destroy planets, but you can never destroy what I am. Destroy what I am, friend. What are you? I am the hope of the universe! I am the answer to all living things that cry out for peace! So when I was 10 years old, I asked my parents for a weight set. And at the time, I was doing all kinds of sports. Volleyball, soccer, basketball, even track, you name it. I was a very athletic kid. And I convinced them that the reason behind, you know, why I need a weight set is for that. You're stronger, you're faster, you're going to perform, but you know, you have a better body, you're going to perform better, whether it be on the court or on the field or whatever it is, you know, related to sports, related to athletics, which is good, which is normal for a young kid. I never told them the real reason why I wanted it. Now, me being a 10 year old boy, most parents wouldn't dream of buying, you know, their little, their little son a weight set. But my family being, you know, originating from 1960s Soviet Russia, they're a little bit different in terms of their culture. In reality, I never lifted for sports. The real reason why I started lifting and what still drives me to this day is rather simple. I want to look like Goku. I want to train like Vegeta. I want it to be hard. I want it to hurt. People always ask me, you know, why do you look like that when you're training? Why do you make those faces? My response to that is, why don't you? This is a workout. It's not a fashion show. At the end of the day, there is still someone who was much worse than me. Someone who embraced the pain, and with every grueling rep, he pushed his body to where no man has ever been, and that's what I want to do. I want to push my body to where 99% of people in their right mind would quit, and then push further! Okay guys, so we're about like 80% of the way through the workout, but we're not done and we have to switch to a new gym because 
No, there's simply not enough weight for me. No, we're getting kicked out. They don't like us filming here, so we gotta go find another gym because we have like a couple more exercises to do. We could cut it short here. We're not gonna do that though. Moving with the wind, we are free falling now. No choice but to trust this as we go into the void. We are standing, staring into empty space, asking all our questions. Problem is, life, it isn't a TV show. I wish I could sit here and talk to you and tell you, you know, this was my biggest challenge and it was incredible and I overcame came it and you know, I triumphed over it and Oprah's gonna be calling me any day now saying like, Igor, we wanna make a TV show and a documentary about you, but that's not the case. I didn't have some crazy, enormous challenge that I overcame. My biggest challenge, something that so many people on earth are dealing with right now is this. Go to school, study something you don't care about. Get a job, do something you don't care about. Get a mortgage, pay your taxes. Don't think too much, don't think outside the box. Just get in line, shut the fuck up. And eventually, if you do all of this, eventually your reward, you die. 69% of Americans have less than $1,000 in their savings account right now. Don't believe me? Look it up. One in every 10 Americans is considered some type of clinically depressed. I can't even imagine how many of them are just generally sad. 71% of the country is overweight, 38% of which is obese. 70% of the country is currently doing something they don't care about, something that they're not passionate in, 20% of which is doing something they absolutely hate down to the very core. So this tells me that the average person is fat, sad, broke, and doing something that they don't care about. What this tells me is that the system is fucking broken. So for most of my life, I find, I find that I've followed this, this safe path that's almost been drawn out for me by society. You know, go to high school, go to college. I studied something which I wasn't necessarily interested in, but it felt safe. It felt practical. I thought, you know what? This may not excite me, and I kind of don't like the idea of doing this for the rest of my life but you know, it's realistic. And isn't that what we all want at the end of the day? I got a job, pretty much the exact same case. Was I passionate about it? No, not even close to be honest, but it's realistic, it's practical, it's safe. And then I used to, I started watching YouTube fitness. I've been into fitness my entire life, but I started seeing these people. And the crazy thing is they're doing what they love, which for me at the time was a completely foreign concept. Looking back on it, that's scary. It's scary to think that you have to spend you know, eight, nine, 10 hours of your day, more than anything else, more than your hobbies, more than the time you spend eating, more than the time you spend with your friends, your family, your girlfriend, more than the time you spend sleeping, you are doing this. This is when people ask you, what do you do? Or what, you know, who are you? This is probably what defines you. And I was doing something which not only was I not interested in, I straight up didn't care. So I'll be honest, I would think to myself, this is awesome, but at the same time, all right, you know, it's a pipe dream and maybe I can do it. No, I can't. That's not realistic. That's not practical. That's not safe. This is safe. Me sitting in my four by four feet cubicle box, essentially my jail cell, that's safe. So I put that out of my head thinking, you know what? Save it for you know, another time because that's not realistic. And I started studying for a certification, for a massive exam, pretty much the best thing you could have in my industry, the natural progression from high school to college to my job to this. And I put everything I have into it, absolutely everything, or so I thought. The day after I got my failed results back, I was sitting in my little cubicle 
you know, it was lunchtime and I just thought to myself, you just spent the last four months doing this and it got you nowhere. And you could have been working towards your passion and that could get nowhere too. You could fail as that. You could fail at absolutely anything, but at least you would have failed doing something you absolutely love. But I didn't. I chose the safe route and it turns out it wasn't that safe in the end anyway. And I was sitting there on my lunch break and I was watching YouTube and I was watching Christian Guzman and he was this guy, you know, he's younger than me and he's living out his passion and the way he spoke about what he does and what he wants to inspire other people to do, that's what I wanted, that's what I dreamt of and here he is doing this, but I'm not living it, I'm just watching it through a box on my laptop. That was the day that I started my YouTube channel. I finally knew what it meant to work hard. Those four months where I thought I did that, no, that was child's play, that was a warm up. For the first time, it was 24 seven, all day, every day, just nonstop grind. It wasn't nine to five, it was eyes open to eyes closed. So who am I? I am the guy who spent three years doing something he didn't care about. I'm the guy who failed taking what I thought was, you know, uh, a safer route. I'm the guy who finally had the guts to take a risk and it ended up paying off. I'm the guy who dropped absolutely everything and moved to the other side of the fucking planet. My name is Igor Opashansky. And I'm an alpha lead athlete. Get me out of here. How's it look? There's some weird sounding like animal thing down there. Oh yeah! <laughs> I wonder if anyone's coming or under me or anything. I just checked. Fuck man, I don't know. This is like really I I'm not gonna be able to just do it. Yes. If you do it, I'll do it with you. Yeah, we'll see you. <laughs> yeah, I won't. <laughs> <laughs> yes! 